In this video, I'm going to show you a better way to release external resources like file handles and database connections. First, I'm going to delete this ugly finally block. That's better. Now, in Java, we can declare and initialize our external resources as part of the try statement. So right after the try keyboard and before the left brace, we type a pair of parentheses. And inside this parentheses, we create and initialize our external resources. So here we can type var reader equals new file reader. Now we delete this line over here and this variable declaration over here. So this is what we call the try with resources statement. A try statement that has one or more resource. With this structure, we don't need to explicitly close this resource inside the final block. The Java compiler will do that for us. So when we compile this code, the Java compiler will translate this code to what we had in the last video. It will add a final block and explicitly close the reader object. Now, for this to work, this class should implement the auto closable interface. Let me show you. So here's the documentation for the file reader class. Look at the interfaces implemented by this class. One of them is auto closable. This interface declares a method called close. So the close method that we have in the file reader actually comes from here. So the objects that we create over here should implement the auto closable interface. Now we can create multiple objects here. Let me show you. First, I'm going to put this on a new line. Now we terminate this statement with a semicolon, and then we can create another object. New file writer, some file. Now pay attention to how I have formatted this code. I'm following the same convention we have in Java. So I put the left bracket right after the try keyword and the right bracket over here. So this is how we can use the try with resources statement. Next, I'm going to show you how to throw exceptions in Java. 